Hello and welcome. I hope you all had a great weekend because today we're having breakfast for dinner. Let's get started on making some fluffy, delicious eggs. Take your desired amount of eggs, which I'm using five. Add your heavy whipping cream and your desired amount of salt. Now, if you don't have heavy whipping cream, you can use a little bit of half and half or regular uh, milk. But the heavy whipping cream helps these get nice and fluffy and gives them that rich, good flavor. So all we're going to do is we're just going to beat them. Boom, done, and set them to the side. On Thursday, I showed you how to make your brisket in the oven, and that's what I'm using today. So we're just going to chop it up fine in this Ninja Chopper. Once you chop it up, you have a nice, fine chop. Just set it to the side. I heated my pan on a medium heat. I added my oil, and now I'm going to go ahead and place it on a low temperature. The one thing you don't want to do is give anybody burnt flavor or stinky eggs. Now we're going to add our eggs. Now we're just going to go ahead and cook them. And I'm slowly going to be sliding in from the outside in until they're all cooked. It should take you about three to four minutes to get the eggs cooked at a low temperature, okay? And it's gonna be worth it. So once you see that they're all cooked, go ahead and set this to the side, because your pan's still hot. Any remainder uh, wetness you see, it's gonna dissipate. My pan is on a medium heat. I added a little bit of oil, and we're gonna go ahead and begin uh, cooking our onions. I'm going to continue to cook the onions for about three minutes just until they become translucent. It's been about three minutes and now I'm going to go ahead and add our brisket. If you don't have brisket, you can use chorizo, you can use bacon, you can use sausage, whatever your protein of choice is. Chicken, ground beef, chicken, leftovers. Make it comfortable for your home friends. I'm going to continue to cook the brisket for another three to four minutes. After three minutes, you want to make a nice little cubby in the center. We're going to add our tomatoes. And some of our chile, it's okay. <laughs> All we want to do is we want to soften up the tomatoes, okay? And I also want my brisket to get a little bit of the crisp at the one that on the bottom. And then these top ones are going to remain that way. Once your tomatoes have softened up, go ahead and add your Anaheim pepper. And if you don't have an Anaheim, you can add a poblano. And for those spice lovers, serrano and jalapeno, well, make you feel happy. Go for it. <laughs> I have personally been into jalapenos and... I'll show you guys soon how I've been eating them, and they're just amazing. They really are. I kind of just pop them in my mouth like they're chips, girl. You see that nice crisp we have at the bottom? Woo! Pop it. Do we all end up with one of the pieces that looks like that? <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> That's the lucky piece. Now let's make some room to add our eggs. And you can take this time to break them down just a bit, okay? So that way you have enough for everybody. And they're still super fluffy, you see that? Yeah, they're okay. okay. They're still soft. And when I'm mixing them in here, I'm not being too aggressive, if you see. Alright, now we're ready to assemble our breakfast nachos. Pick your favorite corn chips. 
And what I like to do is I like to place them in the oven on broil on high for three minutes. After those three minutes are up, I turn it off and I keep them in the oven because they stay nice and warm. And they give you that restaurant feel, you know? So it's gonna be up to you, friends. Place your desired amount of corn chips. Add your eggs and your brisket. The best part of making it at home is that you can add as much as you want. <laughs> and what makes nachos worth your time? Do you know? The cheese. The, the cheese. The cheese and the jalapeno. She's already starting. Mm -hmm. She is starting, everybody. And then your ending personal toppings. I have some green onions. And you guys already know, some cilantro. Optional, you can use sour cream or some crema fresca. I'm using guacamaya today, but you use your favorite hot sauce. Friends, thank you for spending your Monday with us. If you guys haven't taken the time to subscribe, please subscribe. Click the bell for notifications, some thumbs up, and your comments are always appreciated. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios! <laughs> Even that little bite's delicious. Oh, yeah. That's so good. Friends, nachos are messy. That's all you're getting right now.